Welcome, my dear friends, to the Learn and Elevate channel on YouTube. I'm thrilled to have you here today as we delve into the fascinating world of Robert Kiyosaki's Cash Flow Quadrant. It's not just a book, it's a concept that can change the way you think about money and financial success. As we journey through the E, S, B, and I quadrants, I invite you to stay tuned and explore how these categories can shape your financial destiny. We're about to uncover the secrets to financial freedom and wealth building, so you won't want to miss a moment. But before we dive in, if you enjoy learning about personal finance, wealth creation, and strategies for success, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thank you for giving me your invaluable time, and let's get started. Imagine I'm sitting down with you to explain the essence of Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant. It's a fascinating concept that categorizes income earning people into four groups or quadrants. In the world of the cash flow quadrant, we start with the E quadrant, which is short for employee. In this group, people have jobs where they work for a company or someone else, and they receive regular paychecks. It's like having a safety net because you know you'll get paid, but there's a catch. You don't have a lot of say in how much you earn or how the company is run. Your financial destiny, in a way, is in the hands of your employer. So, while it's secure, it may not lead to significant financial freedom because your income is limited by your job. Now, let's explore the S quadrant, which represents self-employed individuals. These are folks like doctors, lawyers, or small business owners. What's different here is that they have more control over their work compared to employees. They might own their businesses or work as independent professionals. It means they get to make decisions about their work, but it comes with a trade-off. The thing is, people in the S quadrant often work really hard. They might have long hours and lots of responsibilities. Plus, there's usually more financial risk involved. If their business doesn't do well, it can directly impact their income. So, it offers more control but also brings more challenges and risks along the way. Now, let's shift our focus to the B quadrant, which represents business owners. These individuals are in a position where they're not just working for themselves or someone else, they're building systems and businesses that generate income on their behalf. What's exciting about the B quadrant is that it provides more leverage, control, and the potential for wealth creation. Here's how it works, business owners create something that can run even when they're not actively working. It's like having a well-oiled machine that makes money, whether they're there or not. This leverage and control over their income and business operations give them the opportunity to accumulate wealth over time. It's a big step towards financial independence. Finally, we have the I quadrant, which represents investors. This quadrant is all about using your money strategically to make even more money. Instead of working actively for income, investors put their money to work for them. Investors might put their funds into things like stocks, real estate, or other ventures that have the potential to grow in value over time. Their main objective is to generate what's called passive income. This means money that comes in without them having to work for it actively. It's like planting seeds and watching them grow into a financial forest. The beauty of the I quadrant is that it's focused on creating wealth through smart financial decisions and investments. It's a powerful way to achieve financial freedom and build a secure future. Here's the crucial point, Robert Kiyosaki's main message is that if you want to achieve more financial freedom and build wealth, you should consider moving from the left side of the quadrant, E and S, to the right side, B and I. But how do you make this shift? Well, it starts with investing in your financial education. You need to understand concepts like assets, things that put money in your pocket, and liabilities, things that take money out of your pocket. This knowledge empowers you to make smarter financial decisions. Each quadrant comes with its own set of risks and rewards. On the left side, E and S, you often trade your time for money. You work, you get paid. On the right side, B and I, it's about creating assets that generate passive income. In other words, your money and investments are working for you, so you don't have to work as hard for every dollar you earn. So, the key takeaway here is that by transitioning to the B and I quadrants and understanding the principles of financial education, you can potentially achieve greater financial freedom and build wealth over time. It's all about changing your approach to money and income. To sum it up, what Kiyosaki's book, Cashflow Quadrant, really encourages is a focus on creating income-generating assets. This means putting your efforts into things like investments, businesses, or real estate that can generate money for you over time. But there's more to it. The book also stresses the importance of embracing an entrepreneurial mindset. If you want to shift to the B and I quadrants, you often need to think and act like an entrepreneur. It's about seeking opportunities and taking calculated risks to achieve financial success. And don't forget, continuous learning is a big part of this journey. You need to stay informed, adapt to changes in the financial world, and be willing to take those well-thought-out risks. 
Cash Flow Quadrant serves as a guide to help you understand your financial situation better and steer you toward greater financial independence and opportunities to build wealth. It's all about empowering you to take control of your financial destiny. In conclusion, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for tuning in and watching today. Your time and attention are truly appreciated. If you found value in this discussion, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell below. By doing so, you'll stay updated with our latest videos, and you can explore our channel for more in-depth explanations of various books and valuable insights to elevate your knowledge. Thank you for being a part of our community, and we look forward to sharing more with you soon.